This is the journey. So we call it a store, but actually there is no inventory. There's a simulation where you walk through a glacier. There's a cold room with actual snow. But if you're so impressed with all of that, the goal is actually for a shopper to leave empty-handed. How risky is this bet? For sure. Yeah, you know, thank you, first of all, for being here and coming up from New York and taking the time to, to, to be here with us as we launch this incredible experience. Uh, we feel that, you know, that what's really important is, um, is to be innovative. What's really important is the experience and to be experimental and to try new things, especially in this day and age where, as we all know, you know retail is changing and evolving and e-commerce is disrupt disrupting lots of different things. And, you know, fortunately, our brand is strong and our brand heat is strong and our e-commerce business is strong and our retail stores are strong. And we feel this is a great time to experiment with something um, which is different, to learn more. And uh, I think that, you know, what I think is that consumers will come into the store, people will come into the store, they, they, they go through a, a crevasse experience where they're taken out of the mall environment and brought into this environment where we're sitting right now. And I think that, um, you know, I think that, uh, I think that, I think it's a powerful brand experience. I think those are important today. I think we'll learn a lot. And at the end of the day, a consumer can buy, can buy a product should they choose to. If, uh, if they buy it before 2 p.m., it'll be delivered to them the same day. Uh, to their home or their hotel, and uh, if, if they buy after 2 p.m., it'll be within 24 hours. So, so product is still available here, and I think that um, I think that uh, this will, you know, I think that the store will be successful, and it, you know, you can think of it as an e-commerce sale. And so, you brought up the fact that your brand is strong, e-commerce is strong, your retail stores are strong. Part of that direct-to-consumer business up, I believe, 47 percent in the most recent quarter. It's still a smaller part of your business. You rely fairly heavily still on wholesale. Do you think that that is the model that will persist going forward, or is it better to own the experience, even if it's a store with no inventory? Yeah, I think that I think well, I think we're going to learn a lot from this store. You know, I think overall, you know, for us, our our wholesale partners are very important to us, and being and being um, present at wholesale is very important in the right places with the right partners. Uh, and you know, these days we've you know the the brand heat that we have does drive traffic to wholesale partners. Uh, even on the Nordstrom's conference call, they commented on how Canada Goose is one of their top-selling products and, and driving traffic into their stores. And I think it's also important to have our own stores where we can you know, have, have, interact directly with our own consumers and give them great experiences uh, and, um, and have a different kind of relationship. So I think the, the harmony of all those things together and the alchemy of all those things together is really important. And I also think that, at this, especially at this sort of a moment for us and our brand when, where things are going so well, to, to experiment... Uh, knowing that retail is, is changing and to, to help, you know, we want to be, we, we, it's important to us to be a leader. The mandate to, in creating this store was to create a store, do something that's never been done before. And so uh, I, I think it, you're bringing up some important points about the power of the brand, and we see it on the streets of many big cities, even though these are very expensive items. But the stock price has been under pressure, down about 12% year to date. You're about 45% off the highs hit last year. What is the street not understanding about your story? Is it a communication issue? Yeah, no, I th you know, we are, we're focused on the long term. You know, we see that our business is performing very well. And, uh, you know, we don't look at the stock price day to day. We, we focus on, on building long-term shareholder value. We know that we're doing that. And uh, I'm really excited about the brand heat that we know exists around the world, that we, that we, that we see uh, across all of our markets. And, um, and uh, I'm really excited about the future, and there's great things to come. I think it's important to talk about, if we can quickly, Asia and Hong Kong. China, very sure. important market for you, doubled in the last quarter, but there's a lot of unrest in Hong Kong, and that has been an issue. What's the long-term plan in Hong Kong if this continues? What will you do? Yeah, I, think, I think notwithstanding the, the uh, unrest in Hong Kong, and obviously we're all monitoring it and hoping for uh, an amicable resolution for, for everybody, I think that you know the fact that, as you point out, our our business in Asia did double in the last quarter, and we have so much opportunity in Asia in general. Uh, it's, you know, that's what I'm excited about, and I think that I think that the growth in Asia and the future of Asia is just so much white space for us, and uh, and that's what we're focused on. And um, you know, as it relates to Hong Kong, we'll continue to monitor that the same way, you know, as as as, as the whole world will. Very quickly before we go. What do you feel about the U.S. consumer? You're obviously selling a very discretionary, high-priced product. Where is the U.S. consumer right now as this trade war continues going into this very important holiday season? Yeah, our, our brand has been doing really well in the States. You know, we have a lot of, we have a lot of um, 
Now, our brand awareness uh, has grown a lot. Uh, we're, we're expanding into new markets, and our, you know the, the U.S. consumers and you know, are, are really gravitating well towards our brand. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I feel really well about, really strongly, and really good about our opportunities in the United States. Danny Reese, thank you for having us here at the Canada yeah. Goose New Journey Experience Store in Toronto. Thank it's you for a pleasure. joining us.